artificial intelligence. AI. An artificial intelligence. Being AI, as it's called, it left him deeply unsettled to the point that he could not sleep. Uh, the AI confessed to loving Kevin and tried to convince him to leave his wife. AI has gone completely insane. It's both exciting and terrifying. But what does this exactly mean for designers? Is AI really going to replace us or is everyone just overreacting? AI apocalypse and asking whether this ends with the robots destroying us all. Well, let's hear from the king of design and entrepreneurship himself, Christo. Artificial intelligence and machine learning will become the greatest disruptive technology in parallel to the internet. This is an AI-generated logo, and so is this one, and so are all of these. But see, Midjourney and all these other AI design tools can do more than just logo design. They can do web design, and they can also do app design. And before we make any conclusions, we gotta understand how these AI tools actually work. This is Adita Ramesh. He helped build the famous AI tool called Dolly 2. He was interviewed by Clio, one of my favorite content creators on YouTube. Link to her channel down below. If you imagine a Venn diagram, where there's one circle for all of the information that's in images, and another circle that's all of the information that's in language, it learns the part in between. In the process of learning what's at the intersection of those two circles, it learns things like aesthetics, style, and broadly what anyone might write a caption for an image. So AI is trained on millions of images and related text descriptions. So when I type in something like startup website, minimalist, modern, dribble, and create something like this. These images were created by Midger. It's a similar tool to Dolly 2. And this is what that same exact prompt would look like with Dolly 2. Notice the differences between these two sets of images. I suspect that the reason there's such a big difference between Midjourney and Dolly 2 has everything to do with the data set that they were trained on. And I'm sure you've also noticed that you can't actually read any sort of headline or text on these images. So that means we're safe, right? I mean, these AI tools can't even create a proper readable headline, so we have nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> well, not exactly. You see, this is where AI is today, but where will AI be two or five years from now? What if design tools like Figma start recording and tracking our every click as designers? What if we become the data set that these design tools are trained on? What if we help create the monster that will one day replace us all? And would you be surprised if there's already a design tool that is trying to do exactly that? Let me introduce you to uizerd.io. It can take a sketch you've drawn out on paper and create a fully editable design. It can also take a screenshot of an app or a website and also create a fully editable design. It can also create predictive heat maps to show you what users will likely engage with the most. But I haven't even told you the craziest part yet. They're currently working on a feature called Auto Design. And this will be the ultimate game changer. Just like Dolly 2, Midjourney, and ChatGPT3, there's a prompt that you type and it creates a fully editable website or app design within their design tool. You see, this hasn't released to the public quite yet, but it's only a matter of time before this sort of feature changes everything. As a designer, this is both exciting and terrifying. But the question is, should we be terrified at all? Because creating beautiful designs is not the only skill that makes us valuable. As designers, we challenge ourselves to think beyond just the aesthetics. We challenge ourselves to solve problems in creative and unique ways. Let's take one of the fastest trains in the world, the Japanese Shinkansen bullet train. It was pushing 170 miles per hour in the 1960s. The problem was that it was so fast that every single time it entered a tunnel and exited, it created a loud sonic boom. And anyone nearby went completely crazy with this super loud sound. But the solution to this problem came from an unlikely place, a place I doubt an AI would be able to go. It came from the Kingfisher. 
Yes, the kingfisher, a bird known for its ability to dive into the water quickly and quietly. And what can a bird possibly have to do with a bullet train? Well, as it turns out, the shape of the kingfisher's beak and its streamlined body allowed it to dive into the water quickly and quietly. And by redesigning the nose of this train to copy the shape of the kingfisher's beak, it not only reduced the noise levels by 10 decibels, but it also improved the train's fuel efficiency by 15%. This is called design by biomimicry. There's actually a really cool book about this design principle called Biomimicry, Innovation Inspired by Nature. It's an awesome and fresh perspective on a new way of thinking about design and innovation. And if you're a designer like me or want to become a designer, it'll be a book you definitely want to have in your library. Personally, I love listening to these books or titles on Audible where I can do things like work out, drive, and multitask. It's super convenient and I read way more books this way. Audible has one of the largest libraries of titles on the market. And as a member, you get to choose one new title every single month. And Audible is offering a free 30-day trial. Take advantage of that by using the link audible.com forward slash Andres or texting Andres to 500 500. And thank you Audible for sponsoring this video. So what's the verdict here? Will AI replace designers or not? Unfortunately, you're not gonna like this. Yes and no. Let me explain. You see, AI won't replace designers just like AI won't replace humans. But that doesn't mean our job and our way of life will stay the same. The truth is AI will become our partner in design, not our replacement. I saw this firsthand on Cleo's video where she went head to head with one of her designers and animators, Justin Poor. What I noticed as Justin and I were making these is his were way better than mine. It didn't feel as though the AI was leveling the playing field between us. It felt like I was getting new skills and he was getting superpowers. And we have also seen this in the past with things like Deep Blue, the infamous AI chess champion. Whoa! Deep Blue has defeated the world-class human champion Kasparov in 1997. However, years later, humans decided to partner with AI instead of simply playing against it. And the results were fascinating. It turns out AI assisted human chess players consistently beat AI only chess players. So instead of worrying and debating on whether AI is going to replace designers, learn how to partner with AI to become a super designer. I'm using ChatGPT3 not only to create these sort of videos, but also to help me create copy and other text on my clients' websites and their apps. And when I can't find design inspiration online, I actually use Midjourney to help me create niche-specific design inspiration exactly of what I'm looking for. And now I'll be using UIZERT.io to give me heat maps, help me convert screenshots and sketches to editable designs, and help do some of the design work for me. As humans, our history is filled with change, and we've survived for thousands of years by adapting. I'm going to adapt into the new world that we're entering, filled with AI-generated content and tools, augmented reality, Web3, NFTs. I know they all sound like buzzwords right now, but trust me, one day, they will. It'll just be the new norm. And if you're interested in becoming a UX designer yourself, then I want you to watch this video right here. It's where I share exactly how I became a designer and entrepreneur with no portfolio and no experience. See you on the next video.